Hi, my name is Desmond Lazaro. I'm an artist. I'm here today with my son Basil. Hello. Since homeschooling, Basil and I have been doing a lot of geometric constructions, largely based on my own work, as I tend to use a lot of circles and patterns in geometry in my own work. We brought the Dreamcatcher from the bedroom, and today we want to show you how to make a 6 ball pattern. And to do that, you will need a piece of paper, a simple ruler, and your compass. Um, I use different compasses in the studio from um, more sophisticated ones to really big ones depending on the size of the circle. We're ready to start drawing but before that we need to stick all the corners so the paper doesn't move. Okay now we're going to use a ruler and a pencil. Try to get it aligned right through the middle. Just find the centre of your line. We're going to use our compass. Get right in the middle. Now, draw your line. Keep your compass the same distance that you did for the big circle. From that line from top or bottom, you can choose. Draw it down. Get another pedal from this corner. Side again. And there we go. Now you finish your drawing, you can use some colour, colour that you found around the house, any colour. You can use some pencils, you can use some felt tips, you can use a marker, you can use some paint. I really want to paint this, but I don't know what colour she should use. Well, you can use whatever colour you want, you just got to find two colours that kind of work together. You can use um, like silver and purple, or you can use complementary colours like a green and a yellow, or a green and a blue. What do you fancy? Mm, maybe yellow and a green. Great, let's go for it. Before you put any colour, you need to put a little bit of colour, which is normally an opaque white, and that allows the paint to stick to the surface of your paper. So, just take a bit of paint, and a good tip is when you're drawing quite accurate lines is that you can use your paintbrush as a kind of a pencil, just to give you a nice outline. Then when you've done both lines, you can then just fill it inside. When you come to do the inside petals, to keep a line quite straight, what you'll do is, you kind of hold your, your brush together, and you just move your arm, not your hand. And that means you can go around the circle of the petal. So the reason you always go the left side petals first is so that you can move it around like that and then when it's dry you then go the opposite direction otherwise you end up putting paint here. So this time you do it by yourself, take a deep breath, nice and calm and then follow your line. It's quite a challenge to do little lines and getting them right in the spot but once you do it it's really fun. So this is me and Basil saying goodbye. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Bye.